Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing a detachable tour pack from Advan Black. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider hitting subscribe, ringing the notification button, and giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment. Those things mean a lot to me. It helps my channel grow and helps me provide content like this for you. So full disclosure as always, Advan Black had sent me this tour pack as well as the mounting hardware to install my 2014 Ultra Limited. So I wanted to give the bike a different look. Um, a lot of this, this year I may be riding a lot of solo trips, so I didn't want to ride the full tour pack. I wanted something a little different, so I had the opportunity to get the Razor pack to give the bike a little bit of a different look, give it more of a custom look. Probably gonna get a lower windscreen for it to get more of a custom bagger look to the bike. And then uh, the detachable hardware is nice too because I can even pull that off and run the bike uh, completely uh, naked as far as the back. So I'm pretty excited to get this installed. So without further ado, let's get into it. So now we're at the install. We're gonna be popping off my Mustang seat. Now here I already took the wiring out. I disconnected everything, but I just wanted to show you everything's gonna be pushed to the back there. You're gonna have about five connectors and you're gonna to wanna to spool everything under your seat. This makes it a little bit easier to work with. You don't have uh, cables flapping around. So now we're gonna uh, unbox the Avent Block box. It took about, um, took about six weeks, I guess, seven weeks to get in, but it does come with uh, everything that's needed. So we have the uh, mounting plate that secures the tour pack to the bike. As you can see here, this is extremely well wrapped. Um, I had no problems at all with uh, the condition I arrived at it. It arrived perfectly. Nothing was damaged. Nothing was cracked. There was no holes in the box. I was really pleased with that. Something you always want to keep in mind, too, with shipping is these things are extremely fragile. So they're going to be wrapped really well. So you want to take your time here and unbox it. I made sure that I had a blanket on the driveway when I was working on the bike. So I had somewhere to put this stuff down that it wouldn't scratch or mar it. So now we're gonna open up the tour pack. Inside the tour pack, we are going to find the mounting kit and the bracket for the bike, as well as a lock that we can put in and some extra Velcro. They had already pre-installed the inserts, the bag inserts, which I absolutely love. That blue and black matches the pinstripe on my bike. It's fantastic. So here you can just see that there's the keys some bolts, some stickers. Now here we're going to have the docking hardware that attaches to the bike along with all the bolts. Really high quality stuff. Nothing, they, they put everything pretty much together. It's just the mounting points for the bike that you're actually going to have to install. So it was a really easy install to do. But as you can see, really high quality chrome. Very well packaged. And then last but not least, we're going to have the bracket that actually goes on the bike. This is really, again, the chrome is really done well. I was very happy with it. And that's actually the backrest. That's the Razor backrest that comes with the tour pack. Again, keeping that very low, sleek profile for the bike. And then here's the chrome docking hardware. Really happy with how they packed everything. Um, as you know, with shipping nowadays, it kind of just gets tossed on your doorstep. So I was really happy. I was really concerned about whether the tour pack would arrive in one piece. Um, but it did, and it looked great. So here's the Ultra with the standard King Pack on. We're going to go ahead and take the bags off with the quick releases. I have the newer updated uh, releases on my bike. So you just want to screw those off so we can expose the side of the bike. 
You're always going to want to make sure too, uh, and you don't see it here, but I have a grassy area behind the bike. I was able to lay all my side bags on it and uh, make sure that nothing was just laying on the uh, on the ground. So you want to make sure you've planned out where you want to put all the hardware as it's coming off the bike. Definitely recommend a, a cordless impact gun. It was very easy to get these bolts out. I did on some of them actually have to handbrake them. They were in there that tight, but it is a 2014, so those bolts could be seized up a little bit. So again, this is going to be the same thing. You're going to want to uh, think about what you want to put this hardware. That tour pack weighs a good 40, 50 pounds. So I was going to put it in the grass behind this. So I wanted to do is lift it forward, make sure I had a very good secure grip on the tour pack, and then just place it in the grass there. Now I went ahead and put Loctite on the bolts, and I actually used the bolts that came off the bike um, because the mounting hardware on the fender is the same size, so I didn't have to use the ones that they included. Put some Loctite on there, hit them with the impact gun, got them in there nice and secure. And we're going to be doing the same thing with the other side. I would say this install took about, now. I would say three to four hours. Um, and there's a reason for that. And I'll get into it a little bit later of why I did take my time with it. As you can see, I don't have the uh, license plate relocator kit installed. I did install that later after I finished the video. So now we're just going to put the bracket on, on here. Now, one of the things that the guys from North Coast Bagger recommended, and I'll put a link in the description here, is to put this on and let it sit for a few hours so it can sort of adjust and stretch out a little bit. Because it is so new, it's going to be really tight. It took me a few attempts to get it installed. So I left it for a few hours to stretch out and just made the install a lot easier. So here what I'm doing is I'm going to be taking out the quilted covering. And this is going to allow me to have access to the backrest, to the holes for the backrest mounting points. Now you're going to see here I wasn't using a wrench. I went and hand fit everything first and then I went back and hit it with a socket or you can do it with a wrench. Uh, it's not on the videotape, but um, obviously it's <laughs> you want to make sure you secure those up. So all I did here was fit it. Put the nuts back on and make sure it was really nice and secure. I really do like this backrest. Now they do make this backrest in a matching, uh, it would match the blue for the liners. So that's something I'm going to look into as well as getting the matching saddlebag uh, liners. Really like the look. Really gives the bike a little bit more of a custom look. And, um, you know, it's those little things that really make the bike yours. So we're just going to secure these in. Make sure the backrest is nice and snug. The one thing you do want to make sure is working with this plastic, you don't want to over tighten. So you want to make sure that it's snug, but it's not too snug where you could risk breaking your tour pack. Now I'm just checking fitment, making sure everything closes properly. Making sure the tour pack is pushed in there. I'm sorry, not the tour pack, the tour pack liner. I want to make sure it's in there nice and, and, and firmly and seated in the Velcro. So now what I'm going to do is take the Velcro out, uh, or sorry, take the liner out from the bottom. I'm going to put in the Advent Black mounting plate. This plate's got their logo on it. Again, really high quality stuff. I went ahead and put the four bolts in there and just dropped that in so I could align it a little easier. This is the part where you're definitely going to want two hands. So I brought in Backpack, a.k.a. Kate, my wife, to help us secure this. You can see all four sticking out. You are going to need a four millimeter hex wrench on the side that Katie's on. And then I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket to secure these, to secure the mounting bracket to the tour pack. Again, can't emphasize enough. Be very careful with doing this. You don't want to over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you're going to crack your tour pack. So we took our time here, 
and uh, just shored these up, made sure that they were secured really well. And uh, again, you want to make sure you're taking your time too with working any sort of tools on the exposed plastic. You don't want to risk scratching it or uh, scraping it in any way. But we just went ahead and snuck these down. Again, you're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket for the, uh, the nuts and then a four millimeter hex for the inside of the tour pack to hold those bolts in place while you're snugging them down. So you definitely want to have two people with this. I found that it's just like any install, two hands, uh, four hands are better than not. And uh, again, you want to make sure that you have a blanket or something put down for the uh, surface so you don't scratch your cool new tour pack. And then we're about wrapping up this install. I think the install itself was was really straightforward. And filming it took longer, I think, than actually doing it. I probably could have had it done uh, within an hour or two if I didn't uh, wasn't filming and trying to get this all these shots set up. But the install went really well. Very impressed with the quality. Well, now we're going to be putting that bottom tour pack liner in. We're just going to be securing it in with the Velcro making sure that everything's nice and snug. And then we're going to be all set to go. And now let's get it on the bike. So there it is, guys. The Avian Black Razor Tour Pack with the stock backrest, quick detachable pack uh, set up. Absolutely love it. It's a perfect match for the bike. A big shout out to North Coat Baggers. I'm going to link their description up yeah, somewhere over here. This guy's had a great idea and something I wouldn't have thought about. Put the mounting bracket on first, let it stretch out, give it a few hours, and then it's going to be a lot easier to get the tour pack mounted on. Uh, it just came from the factory. It's not going to be perfect, so it's going to have to stretch like anything. And uh, once I did that, I was able to assemble it a lot easier. That last part, you definitely want a second set of hands. But I love the way it looks. We took it out for a quick rip. Um, backpack's still nice and secure in there. Um, obviously, it's not going to have the wrap of the tour pack, so we wanted to do this compromise. But I really like the way this looks. Gives me still plenty of storage for an amount. We're out for a, a quick jaunt. We're out for a, you know, a day ride. Still plenty of storage. You won't be able to store a full face helmet in here, but I can definitely put a jacket in here, my gloves and all my extra camera gear. So I really like the way that it changed the look of the bike. Like I said, it's a hundred percent match. I, I couldn't be happier with that. So it's, um, it really is going to give the bike a more aggressive look. And uh, I guess now I have to, now I guess now I have to wash it, but um, I'm very pleased. And a big shout out again to Avan Black for helping me out and hooking me up with this uh, backrest. I'm sorry, the backrest, the tour pack, and the mounting brackets. So again, thank you for enjoying. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and uh, it really helps my channel grow. I appreciate all the support. Thank you again for watching, and please remember, you are not alone. See ya!